Hi guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, you see my beautiful Pioneer Tuner TX8500 MK2, I think from 1977 or 1978. And when you turn it on, you see that the light bulbs, the wide and narrow, the switch between wide and narrow, they're not working anymore. And yeah, and actually, I think one of the right scale lamp slides here, the scale light bulbs, also not working. It seems to be a little bit darker on the right side. So, yes, I'm going to show you how to replace those. So, what you first need to do is remove the, remove the cover. I've already done that for the other screws. There you go. So that how it looks from inside. So yes, and I was right. Actually, the right one is also broken. So we're gonna remove this one and put another one inside. And I don't know if you can see it. Here is a white and narrow light bulb. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you it afterwards. So what you need to do is pretty easy. Just turn it around like this here. Now you can just take it out. Yes, and I do this for the rest of the four or the three. There you go. There. So, that's it. Easy, isn't it? That's pretty tough. Sometimes they are like stuck in. There you go, it's working. Yes, yeah, so to replace the little bulbs from white and narrow and stereo, you need to remove the front panel. So to remove the front panel, um, you need for the uh, frequency control, a little, very tiny one. This. Maybe this one, is it? I don't know. It's hard to see. Maybe a little bit bigger one. Let's check this out. This here. No, that's too big. What's with this one? It's probably this one. Uh, see, it's working. Uh, there you go. See this really tiny little screw? Be careful, don't lose it. So I'm gonna remove all the other ones. Now it's you can just take it off. See? can clean it up afterwards but it's yeah and for the other controls you just can do this here just take it off 
there, there. That's actually the same one. There. And here. So. Let me take a little plate. So you don't lose it. Would be a pity to lose those beautiful controllers. So. Now you need to remove these screws here and the ones on the front here, see? And let me check if there are some down here. Uh, I'm not sure, let's see. Okay, where is this? This should be uh, no eleven, no it's twelve. That's pretty easy, see. So And it's you can take it off. Maybe clean it a little bit afterwards, but uh, it looks good. Looks good. So what you also need to remove is this transparent plastic. I don't know plastic thing which holds the lights to. Uh, to reach the cables from inside. It may be possible to remove this without without taking out the front panel, but I, I did it because it's somehow somehow safer. See? And now there you go, I don't know if you can see it. There, there, there. You have the little bulbs for for the stereo control, white narrow control. So we're gonna remove those. So I removed this plastic component for the lights, and. Uh, Yes, these are the light bulbs and unfortunately you need to cut those and solder or braze it after afterwards like it has been done here. Um, I'm not gonna touch this one because it's it's working and as yeah more times you do it uh, yeah you can it, it, you can break it somehow so you may break it so just if it's working then don't touch it. So, I finally got the light bulbs, the new ones. And uh, yeah, what you actually need is for the scale is four times eight volt, 300 milliampers. And that's the size here, 10 millimeters, 26. And for the wide narrow stereo, you need three times six volt, 30 milliampers. And for the power, one time eight volt 50 milliampers i got those on ebay because it was yeah it was pretty hard uh, it's almost impossible to get these lights these little light bulbs uh, in a regular store i've been to like four stores and yeah 
but finally got it on eBay and I bought yeah, a couple of them because uh, it's probably going to be more difficult in future to get this. So if you if you if you can get it online, just buy more, um, just in case for future. And one more thing, uh, I told you that you have to solder it, solder the new the new lamps with the with the old cables. But I found a way where you don't have to do it because I think soldering is just a lot of work and it's so permanent. So um, yes, I got these clips here and I'm going to show it to you one second. So I got these clips here and this makes it very easy because next time you want to replace the lights as I mean actually even the new ones are not going to last forever. So you just open the clips put the new ones inside and you're done. So uh, let me just do this here. Mm. See, you just connect it like this. And that and you're done. See? Ah, and one more thing. Um I realized when I tested it before that uh, the new light bulbs a little are not as bright as the stereo one, so I used this comb spray and sprayed a little bit of it inside here so it's gonna be a little bit brighter afterwards. And one more thing, they're just a little bit too, sm too small so they're not fixed. So what I have done, I took just the, the regular tape, the, the electronic tape and taped it a little bit and that way you can just Put it inside and yeah so it's fixed like this there you go that's that's perfect see so let me finish the rest and then we're gonna try it So let's try. See, yeah, it's working. White, narrow. Perfect. Okay, then let's. Let's try it again. White, narrow. Perfect. So we're gonna
So, ready? Yes. Beautiful. Yes, there is not working because there's no antenna. So, it's not finding any radio station. Perfect. So, let's close it. So, this looks very nice again. And yes, thanks for watching and goodbye.